Hey everybody, so this week I'm gonna show you how to finish a bowl that I made that I sell at craft shows. There's many ways that you can do it. I'm gonna show you just how I make it. I like my bowls to be shiny, because it shows I like things to be shiny because people gravitate towards the shininess, kind of like going into a jewelry store. So if you wanna see how I did that, stick around, and I'll show you how to turn a bowl into a food safe product that people can use and eat with on a daily basis. So So I use General Finish's salad bowl finish that is non-toxic once it's cured. Um, I use it with a tack cloth that I cut up into different squares and some gloves so that I don't leave prints on the, the bowls while putting finish on them. Since I'm doing everything by hand, you don't want fingerprints to be on there because that will mess up the look of the bowl. You want to make sure you use a tack cloth first thing and get all the dust off. I use the the tack cloth to cut up and actually put finish on, but you don't have to use that. You could still use just an old t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt that you cut up or something like that would work as well. But when you put the, I wipe the finish on and the first coat, the wood's just going to absorb a lot of it. So all you have to do is just mainly make sure you coat everything very well. Pretty much it's going to soak everything up. And you shouldn't really have to worry about runs as long as you don't just, you know, you kind of wipe the excess up. But I store the bowls on painter's pyramids uh, for 24 hours until they're dry. I do use a dehumidifier, which I didn't start out using this, but I did notice that it dries the bowls that much quicker. Which since I'm selling these things uh, during craft show season and making them every week, I need them to dry that much faster. So... If you're in the same boat I am, definitely invest in a dehumidifier to speed up the process. The second coat right here is pretty much the same thing. You still don't have to really worry about runs too much. I mean, obviously put it on just nice and even and then uh, let it dry. I do sand between the second and third coat. I sand the with usually about a thousand grit um, just to kind of get the edges of the where the, the wood grains raised up off and then I go back with a tack cloth and remove all the dust before putting the third coat of finish on. I actually forgot to record the third coat or maybe I can't remember it was a while back when I made this or I just thought it's the same thing so I didn't need to but it's the same process just make sure you put it on lightly where there's not runs that's the main thing. The fourth coat is the most important because you can now that you have so many coats it's easy to get runs so you just want to put it on very light and um, you want to make sure you coat the whole thing but put it on very light just so that it dries and gives it that extra shine and again I put it on the painters pyramids to dry for 24 hours at least but now since I use the dehumidifier it usually is quicker so here's the finished bowl uh, two different angles I would have the bowl to show you but I sold it since then but I do have some other bowls right here that you can see. Same finishing technique was on all these uh, winge and canary wood. The first one was just winge. There's maple and zebra wood, which is one of my favorites. And purple heart and walnut, which that has a great shine on it as well. And then just another bowl with a bunch of different woods glued up together. So thanks for watching everybody. And I hope this video helped you. If you were kind of not sure a way to finish a bowl. Uh, and if you like the shiny aspect of this, definitely give this a try. General Finish just makes awesome stuff. And this video is not sponsored by them. It's just my favorite finish to use on salad bowls and what I've been doing for five years. But if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And share the video to your friends that also turn bowls and make other things that they want to be food safe, but they may not know a good way to do it. So share this video or tell them about it. That will help me out and it might help your friends out if they're kind of confused about how to do something too. But as I mentioned a couple weeks ago, I do have a Patreon page now uh, and I do monthly giveaways on there as well as other different various levels of uh, whatever heck you want to call it different levels that you can give um, 
But if you're interested in that giveaway, first month I gave away uh, a pin, and this month I'm giving away about eight uh, pin blanks. Uh, and I know this this ends in the next couple days, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. There's a few domestics, and then some uh, high, kind of pricey exotic. So if you're interested in that, go check the link out down below. And again, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.